Welcome to Yachting Monthly's video, how to make a Brummel splice or a Brummel lock splice. Lock splices are a neat and strong way of making an eye in D12 Dyneema. When you use a lock splice with a low friction ring as a thimble, it can be used in a number of places, such as guardrail lines, cascade systems, or even making eye splices just to attach Dyneema adjustment lines. In order to tie one, you will need some D12 Dyneema, a marker pen, a tape measure, a fid, this is a long needle fid, a sharp knife, a low friction ring. If you've got Selma fids, these work well, but we're using the barrel of a pen. Start off by measuring 50 times the rope's diameter. For this example, I'm using a longer tail, so you'll be able to see clearly what I'm doing with the rope. Mark on the line. Take a low friction ring that you want to use as the thimble, place it on the mark, and wrap the line around the diameter of the ring to make a tight loop. Make a second mark where the ropes touch. Insert the loose end into the fid. Find the first mark on the rope. Using the fid, thread the loose end through the line, a rope's width toward the end of a line, making sure not to catch or split any of the strands. By moving it down towards the end of the rope, it gives you a little bit of slack to ensure that you can fit your loop over the low friction ring at the end. Pull the end all the way through until the rope eventually inverts itself. It will be left with a little hole in the rope. At the second mark, do exactly the same. Pull the fibres apart and insert the fid into the rope and then thread the line all the way through. careful not to catch any fibres, like I did here. Pull it all the way through. Until that inverts as well. At the first point, widen the hole by pinching the opposite sides of the hole and pull the sides of the hole apart. As the hole gets bigger, thread the line that will make up the loop up into the hole using your index fingers. Doing this, the twists or inversions will be removed. It's a little fiddly the first time you do this, but you'll get the idea. As the line comes through the hole, pull it through until the second hole passes through the first hole. Once this happens, Remove the twist in the second hole, as you did with the first, by pushing it up through itself. Doing this should remove all the twists in the line and leave you with an eye splice. At this point, it's worth making sure you can get the loop over the low friction ring. Just pull the ropes to make sure the splice is nice and tight. If you've only got a Selma fit or the inside of a pen, if you start at the eye end of the splice and thread the inside core back down through the line. Because of the length of line I have, I'm using a needle's fit and passing it from the opposite end. Whenever you're doing this, it's important to make sure that you don't catch any of the strands of the rope on the inside. Now I've got the end and I'm inserting it into the needle fid. It's worth making sure the end is well inserted. Otherwise, if it comes off when you're doing this next part, you'll have to do it all over again. Slowly rotate the fid to help the core pass through the standing part of the rope. In order to make the splice as strong as possible, the end should be smoothly tapered. The easy way to do this is to start about six inches from the end and then pull out a couple of strands. Go a little bit further down the line and pull out some more. Repeat this 
until you get to the end of the line and all you're left with is a few strands making up the main part of the rope. At this point you can use scissors but Dyneema has very fine yarns in it and it can bind in the blades of the scissors. You'll see now the rope tapers very nicely. Before you pull the outer core down over the tapered end, you want to make sure it's very tight. Because once you pull the core over, you won't be able to adjust it. You can see now the extra length that I've used just for this video. We're almost there. You just need to give the tail of the splice a rub between your hands to make it smooth. So there we have it, one Bromel lock splice. Thank you for watching.